1977, when I was a graduate student, the university was so pleased to be the recipient of a distinguished faculty member in the music department. And that person was Mary Lou Williams. She was a renowned jazz pianist, and we had all heard about her. I initially came to Duke University in 1974 as a graduate student. When I got here, I noticed that the atmosphere was one that was highly intellectual, as well as you had students who were so politically aware. In September of 1980, the students continued to be persistent about the fact that African American students would like to have a black cultural center. And so the push for a cultural center continued. We received such a shock when we heard that Miss Mary Lou Williams had passed. We went through many names. Was it gonna be African American Culture Center, Duke University Black Culture Center, Black Culture Center, or just what? It was suggested that we name it for Mary Lou Williams. And so we eventually said that we would name it Mary Lou Williams Center for Black Culture. In terms of how black students see the Mary Lou Williams Center, um, I would say that their views and perspectives are as varied as they are. Um, I will say that probably one of the most troubling um, comments that I have heard from uh, a black student here, and it happened to be a black student leader at the time, was that if we would just take black out of the name, perhaps more black students would be attracted to it. And for me, that's a troubling comment because it spoke to a sense that I have that not everybody here who is black is proud to be so, or at least has some angst around how other people view their blackness and their black identity. The thing that makes us stronger is the fact that we can be united without being unanimous. And that is why there will always be a need for Mary Lou Williams and similar institutions like Mary Lou Williams that provide that repository for the, cult, the individual cultural identities of the students who come to this campus. There's an adage, to whom much is given, much is required. And I think black people living today in this 21st century America have been given a lot because a lot has been given in order to make it possible for us to have the benefits that we currently enjoy. And it is our responsibility to share that with the world. And the best way that we can do that is to first be informed of what the legacy is that we have inherited.